Ciao, I'm Juliana from Hardcore Italians and you're watching Cook It With G. Today we're gonna have a real festive episode where I show you how to make Christmas cannoli. Now we all know that cannoli are a crowd favorite and if you bring these bad boys to a Christmas party, you are guaranteed to have the best brat dessert dish. Now in this episode of Cook It With G, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make cannoli cream and how to fill it properly inside cannoli shells. However, I am not gonna be showing you guys how to make the shells. We're just gonna be focusing on the cream and then decorating them festively for Natale. So, without further ado, this is what you're gonna need for this recipe. To start, we have about two cups of Delta style ricotta cheese. Now this ricotta cheese is designed to be thicker and slightly less moist than other ricottas, making it excellent for blending with other ingredients, which is perfect for us because we are gonna be mixing in a lot of sugar with this cheese. Next, we have about a cup of sugar, and we also have about two ounces of vanilla extract. We also have some holiday sprinkles along with some mini chocolate chips, which go perfect with cannoli. I also have some powdered sugar so you can dress them up at the end. Kind of looks like snow too, super aesthetic. And then we have our cannoli shells. I have about 10 mini cannoli shells right here. You can literally order these on Amazon. Yes, I know, I was surprised too. Probably won't be super authentic. If you really wanted to get authentic cannoli shells, visit your local Italian American grocery store or a little marketplace, and they'll usually have those at those places. Now since this is a cooking with G, we're going to take the edge off as we always do. And I thought, what better to take the edge off for a Christmas themed video than with panettone. And I have this cute little mini panettone that I'm gonna be having to take the edge off. It's so little and it really makes me feel like Christmas is around the corner. I feel so stupid, I didn't make any coffee to dunk this in. Also, if you guys like this Bonatale crew neck, don't forget that you can use my code G, literally just the letter G, for 10% off your entire Hardcore Italians purchase. They make the best Christmas gifts, so if you're looking for a gift for that special Italian someone, Hardcore Italians has got you covered. I also forgot to mention that you guys are definitely gonna need a cannoli bag, you know, like a little pastry bag like this, as well as some kind of a mixer. You could just mix it yourself with your hand in a bowl, but I find that using like an automatic mixer with like one of these guys works very well. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna do is grab your ricotta cheese, and you're gonna put it right inside the bowl, like that. <laughs> that was a really fun noise. Then we're going to put this attachment on. Then we're gonna put it on a low stir setting. Once all your cheese is inside the mixer, we are going to grab our sugar. And this is very important. You don't pour all the sugar in at once. You pour it little by little. So I'm going to just turn the mixer on. I'm gonna gently and gradually pour in the sugar. Then when you're almost done pouring all your sugar in, you're gonna grab the vanilla extract and you're going to pour right in there. And stir. Then you're just gonna let the sucker mix and keep on clogging it probably for about like two to three minutes. Once you're done mixing everything, you're gonna take your cannoli bag or your pastry bag, whatever you wanna call it. This to me was always a cannoli bag growing up. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna take all of our cannoli cream that we just made. It's literally that easy, by the way. I know you're probably thinking like, aren't you supposed to add anything else? This, to me, perfect cannoli cream. You got the cheese, you got the sugar, you got the vanilla extract, that's all you need. So we're going to scoop this into this bag. Make sure it's all in there, nice, nice. Then you're gonna kind of like push all of the cream down like this. Just let gravity help you out. We're gonna make sure all the cream is down here and we're going to twist the bag like so. You're gonna wanna hold your thumb right there and have complete control of it like this. So you wanna really make sure there's no air and all of the control is in my palm. Now we're gonna take one of our shells and we're gonna put our thumb inside of the hole, like so. And we are going to slowly give pressure to the bag and pull out little by little, like that. And as you can see inside here, you can see the cheese on the other side and it's in there pretty good. I think the worst thing is biting into a cannoli and not having cream on the inside. That to me is just blasphemy. I am showing you the foolproof way to make sure your cannoli are completely filled with cream. Now we're going to just squeeze more cream in there, slowly but surely. 
just like that. And there you go, look at that. What a beautiful mini cannoli you have right before your eyes. I feel like the first thing people wanna do is like this, fill it like this, that's wrong. What you wanna do is just give it pressure and pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. See, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Let the bag do the work. Fun fact, I really hate store-bought cannoli, I feel like you can taste that there is no love in them. I really appreciate a cannoli that was homemade. Okay, so now that we've filled each cannoli, we are going to decorate the cannoli. I have green and red sprinkles for these guys. I also have chocolate chips and powdered sugar. You can go ahead and use whatever you'd like to decorate them, but this to me just looks like the ultimate Christmas cannoli festive decorative kit ever. The more sprinkles, the better. <laughs> so I decide on one side I'm gonna do these sprinkles, and then on the other side, I'm going to take the chocolate chips and on this side, like that. Look how beautiful this is. So pretty. Powdered sugar all over them like snow. And there you have it, our final Christmas cannoli platter. Look how beautiful it is. So creative, so fun, and everybody loves them. Plus, you made the cream yourself, and it looks super festive. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cooking with Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed these Christmas cannoli and learned how to make cannoli cream and fill cannoli the right way. I am so excited to share this recipe with you guys and even more excited to share these Christmas cannoli with my friends and family. So, Buon Natale and Buon Anno. Ciao!